23-year-old Ashley Lopez walks past evacuated buildings, each containing 50 apartments. He brings CGTN to the place where his own apartment once stood. When it collapsed, 25 of his neighbors, including children, were killed in this building alone. Before the September 19th earthquake, it had five floors. Lopez shared a one-bedroom apartment on the third floor with his mother and sister. His mom was the only one home when the building fell. They lost everything and a few things that can never be replaced. My father was a federal highway police officer. He died years before the earthquake. We lost his badge and family photographs of him. Lopez wishes local authorities would offer help more quickly. From the first day this happened, the help that has arrived has come mainly from civilians. There is no record that the local authorities have been here to help resolve this. What was a thriving neighborhood is now packed with tents. Lopez estimates that at least 500 people who lived in these buildings are now homeless. His sister, Karen Lopez, says the toughest thing is having no bathrooms. To bathe or wash our hands, we go to a nearby gym. Someone brought a truck with showers, but it's three blocks away. Mexico's federal government says it is creating a plan to help people finance the purchase of new places to live. Because living conditions are tight, he is unable to live with his family. So he brings me to the blue tent that is now his temporary home. The toughest thing for me is the cold, especially in the mornings. He gives us a look inside his cramped living space. Mexico City's mayor says more than 2,000 buildings across this capital could still collapse. People are not allowed to move back into them as of now, 160 buildings must be demolished. Ashley Lopez and his family are planning to move into another apartment soon. But because no official inspector has come here, they still